So I want to show you something cool that I've done, right? Now, this is very simple, Doc. What have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've got 90 feet in front of us to play, play around with. We have a nice wide open space, nothing hard about it whatsoever. The only way you're going to screw this up if you turn too soon and whatever. All right, so let's just let's just back it in there, right? So simple back. I'm not even going to teach you anything here. It's just a, it's a whatever, right? So chances are I'll back up in one shot. And there we go. That's the angle. Point my steers straight and slowly do it. Now, the reason why I'm showing you this one, but have you ever been uh, curious about what, about uh, the room that you need to back up? All right, now I did something clever um, on one of the levels. All right, I basically added some coins, but I'm not gonna really call them coins. I'm gonna call them paint. Because basically, uh, well, the, the, the truck is gonna be the paintbrush and this is the canvas. So I'm gonna be basically kind of showing you the path that the truck would actually make or the room that a truck would make, all right? So I'm gonna, base, I'm gonna try to do this, the same thing I just did. So I'm gonna turn to the right. Uh, it, is, it is a little bit of a distraction, so so I may I may screw up, but um, my goal is to yeah. So there we go, and point my steer straight, and I think we're fine. Oh, that's jackknife again. I kind of want to go over the path that or the area that the truck needs to back up. All right. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, let's take a look. So this basically means that I can do. I, you, you, this is the only area that you need. When you have this much room over here, because I do believe this, the setup that I did, uh, that's pretty good. As in like, uh, I would I would always do that. Meaning, because that gives me the most room or the most chances to where I can get it in, in one shot. But, uh, so that's, so I could have anything I want there. You could have cars parked there, fire hydrants, people, lawn chairs, whatever you wanted, you can just have there, all right? Uh, and you can get into the space. Now, this is with the, uh, the uh, the variables in the space and like this is how much room there is that's, that's you could fit two trailers in there pretty much you know you could easily open up your doors back here um so it's a nice wide space and you have 90 feet in front of you okay now if uh if you did a 90 let's go ahead and do a 90 degree back and see what that see what kind of a shape that creates so now what i'm going to be doing my 90 degree i'm going to kind of be a little bit further out than i was okay so i'm going to come over here and hopefully I can pull it off. Chances are pulling it off in one shot, that's probably not gonna happen. But uh, you never know, it might. Uh, it's just that the harder the harder the angle that you create with the truck and trailer, the harder to predict uh, when you should start straightening up. So let's go ahead and do it. Uh, we can zoom in a little bit more, I think. Okay. Oh, definitely need to start chasing. Looking okay, looking okay. I guess I was still still a good chance of me getting in one shot. Something like that. It was pretty close. But anyway, let's go ahead and just do a little bit of a pull forward just so I can... Uh, and I'm going to try not to make anything disappear. There we go. We're still using that area. And yeah, I should have I should have gotten that in one shot. I really should have. <laughs> but okay, there we go. So let's take a look at it. So that's the area. If you were to do a 90 degree, that's the area that you, you would need. So if there was a bunch of poles over here, if there was parked cars over here, uh, this is the room. So all I needed, uh, again, with well, your axles back, a nice wide open space. All I needed was uh, 10, what was it? One, two, three, four, five, let's call it six, 60 feet in front of me. And that was easy. Now you can do it in less feet. You really can. Uh, let's do it with less feet again. So I'm going to basically try, let's go ahead and I'm going to put a truck uh, in the, uh, the 50 foot for the 50 foot mark and this, let's see what kind of uh, area that I end up using so I actually put this in the, uh, the 45 foot mark uh, I changed my mind I decided let's go ahead and uh, because it's such a wide space I should be able to do it now the chances are again I'm not gonna do it in one shot but hey some uh, stranger things have happened uh, so this is gonna be my setup uh, roughly around there you know you end up using more room the less room you have over here to play around with, uh, the more room you have to use over here. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna stop it right around there. Um, yeah, let's, let's see what happens. I think my setup might be actually garbage, but yeah, I'm gonna start jackknifing roughly around here. And again, yeah, you have to get close to this trailer here. You have to, all right. If not, you're gonna get too close to this guy over here with the back end. Uh, all right. Okay. Now we can start chasing. 
Chasing, 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 and looks like I'm missing it. Oops, what did I hit? I hit this guy. Damn it. <laughs> I was doing so well. Uh, so, it looks alright, to be honest with you. I nearly got it in one shot. I nearly did. So let's just take a look at a pattern that I ended up taking with uh, only 45 feet in front of the space. Okay, so it's kind of a weird pattern, <laughs> but again, so that so uh, you're not always going to have this pattern. All right, you're not going to always end up using this one. You, you you maybe end up using over here. Again, you your chances are you're not going to do it in one shot. Uh, and but yeah, let's go, let's take a look at a straight. Well, mostly a straight back looks like. Of course, to pull forward, I'm going to go over here just a little bit. I don't. I, the swing isn't that much. The swing only it only swings out like a foot. Uh, when I, when, I, when I say swing, when you turn a hard right. Uh, the back of the trailer swing. So I'm going to go ahead and so this is the uh, now basically I use my body or do I use my mirrors or my where I'm seated where I'm seated in the truck is what I'm going to use as a point of reference. So when I my body uh, gets past the space that's when we're going to crank it hard to the right. All right now it's going to keep turning hard right just uh, we're in, probably not but we'll see. Let's see what happens. We're going to keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. And roughly around here, we're going to start straightening up. Now, we probably not get a, a complete straight. We're just going to get it all the way till we get to the curb. There we go. Now we're stopped. So let's go hard right. And that should straighten us up in the shortest distance. And there we go. At least we got a straight back by the time we get to the front of the space. So that's what, uh, <laughs> that's what this base... This well, that's what the pattern looks like. All right. So if you were to back up into an area with this much space, again, you don't have a measuring tape. You don't know that this is 90 feet. All right. Eventually, you'll start to, the more and more times you back up, the more you're actually going to be able to uh, judge it. I'm like, wait, oh, well, actually, I can get up straight back out of that. All right. Uh, but anyway, that's that's the pattern. So again, if you have park trucks here and all that, you, you can get into this space. Um, let's do one more, and this is my favorite. This is my favorite setup, and this is kind of my go-to setup, and I want to show you what that looks like. So again, driving right next to the uh, next to the space, and then one and a half spaces uh, past the space. So that would be roughly around. And actually, because the spaces are so wide, and these are wider than normal, uh, I'm going to go ahead and only and just turn. Oh, I hate giving you wrong information because. There's so many variables. Like I, I tell you one thing in, a, in in one video, and I will tell you this in a different video. Of course, this would be a space, but of course, there's a nice wide gap between it. But I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, roughly around here. I'm gonna turn to the right. All right, and basically, once my truck is pointing this way towards the uh, towards the road, I'm just gonna now I'm gonna start going to the left. All right, start going to the left. Start going to the left. Start going to the left. I'm gonna keep going until my truck is pointing dead north again, where it was. There we go. All right, now I point my steer straight and I just start reversing. All right, and then I'll choose what, what happens after that. Okay, so just backing up slowly like you would. Keep going, keep going. Now you are jackknifing, but now I'm going to go ahead and chase. And I should have checked, I should have, uh, I should have chased before that because I was too busy talking. But I might be able to get in one shot. Now, once we're dead straight, I'm going to drive straight. Boom. Oh, I'm going to drive straight. That's going to, that's going to bring me over. That allows me to see in both mirrors and see what's happening. And that's actually moving the trailer towards the center of the space. Now I'll jackknife again. And now we'll chase it. I should have done it a little quicker than that. All right. Well, just kind of. Well, as you can see, this it makes it... I don't even know what you would call that. I kind of feel like it's it's the... When a snake is looking at you. <laughs> when it's up and it's... Uh, when it's up and it, when it's heads up high or whatever, right? <laughs> I don't know. Um, Loch Ness Monster. You know when the Loch Ness Monster kind of looked over the... I'm stupid now. Okay. Anyway, that's the pad. All right. Uh, now, if I was to try to do that, let's do the exact same thing again, right? So I didn't start turning until halfway into 18, but this time we're going to have the axes all the way back. I want you to show you... I want to kind of show you the, dif the difference in the pattern. Yeah, I'm really sorry that you guys aren't able to choose this in the game. Uh, only I can do that. Yeah. The new, 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 new game will be much better and much more organized. All right, so this time we're going to have to turn a lot later. But let's say I did turn at, the, at this point where it was around here. I turn hard right. And basically, as soon as I turn to the left, as soon as I'm pointing that way, we're going to go hard left. It's not the, it's not the, not the worst setup. I just would have turned a little bit later. Uh, right now, hold on, let's go ahead and point my steer straight. There we go. Now we're running straight. Because that, because it's a nice wide open space, 
it seems to be all right. Hold on, I need to hold it on for longer. I'm overshooting it. Uh, nah, yeah, there we go. Okay, straighten up. So we got it in one shot. We got it in one shot. Now, uh, let's take a look at the difference, all right? Let's, let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. So as you can see, this, the, I try to do my best when it comes to identical setups, uh, but as you can see, the one with the axles all the way to the rear needed more room. Uh, this one, uh, as you can see here, why these are little. This is this was the swing of the trailer when I made my initial hard right hand turn. Uh, so there, there was a little bit of a swing that uh, got into this area, but as you can see, that did not happen with the axis all the way to the back. But you need more room in front of the space uh, when you have your axis all the way back. Now, of course, ideally, I should have turned a little bit later, like a space. That's usually when I do. Uh, usually when I when I make my hard right hand turn, I usually wait an, an extra space before making my hard right hand turn. And so it would, that way it wouldn't have been so, such a fat space right here. You know what I mean? Uh, but anyway, I just think it's fascinating to, to kind of see uh, the kind of patterns that the truck and trailer make when, when reversing. Because basically, you can put whatever you want here. You know, uh, and you can get it into the space. But anyway, that's uh, that's all I'm going to do for this video. Uh, cool. Uh, like, subscribe, all that junk that you're supposed to do. Of course, uh, download the game. My trucking skills are my European trucking skills. Uh, just find it at mytruckingskills.com. All right. Later. Oh, yeah. I have a podcast. I keep forgetting that one. Most, um, for the two people who are actually left watching this video, just another trucking podcast. There will be a link in the, in the description below. All right. Later. Bye-bye.